right, team, we are on to the last chapter of Black Myth Wukong. We are going to finish up all of the like main quests and stuff. There's a couple little side bosses here, but uh, we got some stuff we got to do. This is a fun level. It's short uh, if you know what you're doing. Uh, could be difficult because it's New Game Plus 3, but... <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This is just kind of a long walk till we get to the boss. Now, this boss is probably what I would consider the hardest, second hardest boss in the game. Uh, just especially if you don't have the um, abilities that you would normally get in, uh, like, all the resistances. This guy's a big fire one. Massively reduces damage cost of all charged heavy attacks. We'll take it. That one seems pretty good. So this boss we've actually fought before, but we didn't go through his whole health bar. He was back at the end of chapter... Four. So he's kind of like a flying, sweeping type kind of guy, but just hits hard. Second phase, he does a lot of burn damage. Uh, this will be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go, honestly. So first off, if you have the fan, which you definitely have now because you beat Chapter 5, put the fan on. This is where it really matters. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's really what it comes down to. This fight's not fun, as I said. This is probably going to be the second hardest fight you've had to do. Uh, in the game the supreme inspector so we had fought him before and we did like a quarter of his health and then he walks away now we're doing the full thing now this guy is kind of like a two-phase boss um he has a lot of uh long range attacks he's got he's got a little bit of everything So he's going to fly at you, dodge. He's going to do this a couple times. Oh, I forgot about that. So he does fire and electric. So right now it's just electric, obviously, but... Okay, so this part sucks weenie. So do be prepared to dodge. That thing's gonna come back too. He's gonna do that a couple times. Come on. Uh, nice. Oh, we're not done yet. And now the slam. getting very lucky with my dodges here okay so this is the second phase so here comes the fire um again not th this is like basically all he does is make the area smaller his attacks don't really change but he will start using this a lot more so just keep dodging Now's when you want to probably use your fan, if you haven't already. Shit. Nice. Wow. First try. So now we have the flying ability. Now there's a couple bosses around here. It kind of becomes a little bit almost like an open world in a sense. So uh, I think it's up. Is it up on the D-pad? What is it? It's I forget how you use the thing. It's down, not up. Okay. So there's four major bosses. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, something like that. We'll get to it. But um, so we're going to fight... 
a little bit of uh, there's a couple ways we want to do this there's some side bosses that you don't really have to do but if you just need the xp you you, you can do them um let's see the first one we might as well do them why not uh, i would say get some height and when you see these openings like this you'll see it don't worry about that we'll do that later that's one of the things we have to do so see this rock formation it's actually like a mini boss So these guys just do a lot of poison. Core number one. See, they're not that hard. The only thing that sucks about this area is that there's not that many um, resting points. And because of that, um, because there's not that many resting points, uh, when you die, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get back and forth. But that's where we just fought, uh, what's his name, that the hand guy. If you go down here, I believe that there's a serpent boss. This guy can be kind of annoying. Oh, oh, wow. Um, okay. I've never seen that before, but all right. That's okay. We'll use our, um, our res. Again, we're in the home stretch, so I'm not really worried about these. Plus, these bosses aren't super important. So we're kind of working our way across and around. That's kind of the game plan here. So right over here is a shrine. Now we're going to make sure we rest because we got to. <laughs> this fight can be not hard, but it's one of those things where like you'll make a mistake and it might cost you. And there's a little bit of a trick to this. So one of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to get the original Wukong's uh, armor and weapon and stuff, right? Mainly armor set. So there's four gods, I guess you could see, titans that we have to fight. So this is the rhino, the golden armored rhino. Now, you can you can damage this guy as much as you want, and you'll do little hits. But basically, your goal to do the most damage is you want to break his horn. So build up your um, your big melee, I guess you can call it, your, your charged attack. I would get it to as high as you can. And then uh, hit him with it. So technically you only need three, but you might as well go up to four. So wait for him to face you. Like that. Line up with his horn and just smash it. Now you'll do a lot of damage to him. Now, I won't lie, I remember doing a lot more damage, but... So I'm gonna try and build up another full charge, 
because his horn's going to grow back, and then I'm just going to quick slam him again. Like, I don't want him to ever have his horn, basically. So here we go. He just got his horn back. I'm just going to wait for my immobilize. Ow. Fortunately, we have enough electric or uh, uh, shock resistance. That's not much of a problem. Big smash. Again, don't worry about that bug. I'll do it. Screw it. I'll take the gamble. Oh! Right on the nose. So, that's done. Go this way. And we will do... Is it this? Yeah, I guess we can do this now. So, same concept. This is the last frog. So, this is Lang Bao. This is the sixth and final frog for the achievement now as you can see he's red but he can go into a stone mode where you can't really do damage to him now these guys are going to fight with you uh they will hit you but uh these guys are going to kind of fight with you oh well thank god i got that heal off because that would have killed me so he'll probably well, see, I'm waiting for him to go into his form. His uh, rock form. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now, you can wait for him to go out of this form, but I believe I can hit him hard here. And that'll do... Yeah, see? It does a lot of damage. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So we're just going to wait for him to essentially finish out this mode here. Jesus. There we go. Holy shit. See how long it takes? I hate this guy so much. Thank you. Man, that sucked. So with that, you should get the achievement for beating all of the um, uh, frogs. Let's go over here and we'll fight the next rock guy. Now, I don't believe, like sometimes there's these open areas, but there's like nothing in it. Kind of a ruse, if you will. So that's what I'm saying, don't bother. Oh, oh. Oh no, that's not, that's not a, this is literally just peons. So that's what I mean. These are just like the regular enemies of this area. So that's why it's like, uh, don't bother. Go up. Over to this tree. And here's our next rock guy. Okay. Another one done. So go up. Over to our right. That's where we fought the frog. We're going to go over here. So we are going to fight the deer. Now this deer... Two-phase boss, really annoying because the first one it does ice, the second one does rot. So you kind of got the worst of both worlds. Just make sure you rest. Cloud treading deer. Yeah. 
This guy's annoying because he's always just out of reach, you know? Like that, like, like perfect example. Always out of reach, but still some somehow able to travel enough distance to hit you. Dude, we're doing nothing here. See, always backing up. Now, luckily, I have him. Oh. I was going to say, I'm lucky I have him backed into a wall, but... <laughs> like, nothing works. I don't remember this move. See how much damage he does? Jeez. Look at that, just bound, just jumps away. Wow, I don't remember this. Come on, stay down. Okay, cool. So now he's in blood form. So, basically the same, but now we have Baji on our side to help. Definitely more aggressive. And hits harder. So because he's more aggressive, it's a lot easier to get the shots in because he's not going to back up as much. Like he's not going to back up for the hell of it like he did in the first phase. Can't really see what's going on. Like I don't even know what I'm locked onto right now. Nice. That wasn't bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. So there's not much else on this side. So we have to go all the way across to the other shrine. Boom. So just make sure you rest at this shrine. Uh, we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to go through here. We're going to fight um, one more boss. And then what we're also going to do, let's do this now. So if you're a new player, you're going to want to do this. Uh, actually, we'll wait on it for a second. Let's do the boss. If, if it's your first run, we have to do a little something something. We're going to use some potions. You can see the bubbles. Hippo. Hippo, not hard, hits hard. Ooh, a little harder than I expected. So those uh, warp holes, or uh, what do you call those? Water holes? Those just slow you, so just be careful. Shit. Wow. 
Wow. I'm getting chunked here. Stay on your stomach. under here it comes here it comes the attack do it do it do it huh. see it's fairly telegraphed don't know why my ability didn't go off but all right See, this is a little annoying because constantly going back into the water. Thank you. Cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to put on an ability here. Mm. Well, not really an ability. Uh, we want to put on a... Where's our medicines? So there's two medicines that you are going to need for this if you are on a new game, uh, like if this is your first playthrough. So you should have something that allows you to have higher stamina. So it considerably increases stamina for a long duration. Now I won't need that because my uh, stamina is so high it won't matter, but through your first playthrough, you're gonna want one of these, which is a max stamina or all actions are no cost for stamina. So you're gonna want one of these. So ascension powder, and then the other one we'll deal with in a second. So what you're gonna wanna also do is take your fan off and put on this, your fireproof mantle. Um, okay, so real fast. We're going to, boom show you how to put those medicines on if I even remember um okay so do 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 no stamina at all we want to equip to our one and then where's the other one the other one is the oh no that's all you need so now we're going to hit this and we're going to rest just because we want to reset that bug so we're going to head back towards the rhino because we're gonna wait for the bug to spawn. So once the bug spawns, you want to get on his head. So make sure that you use your cloud to get there. If you don't make it, like you can just walk away, but, uh, and come back. So uh, pop your um, ooh, pop your thing that allows you to have infinite, uh, infinite stamina. And now we're gonna hold on to this for three jumps. Just hold RT. So as I said, I'm able to do this without potions because my stamina bar is just so big. So that's three. So now you can walk away. Now this one's different. We have to hold his thing for, he's gonna light on fire pop your uh whatever this thing's called the fireproof mantle now we're gonna hold on because he's gonna basically try and light you on fire and you have to survive for i think it's like 10 seconds so you're not taking any burn damage which is awesome yep there you go. So we're back here. Make sure you put on your other armor set. I just realized that we've been using the other armor set. But we're going to fight the Mantis. So we're going in this guy's stomach. Now, the Mantis is not... Again, this is another one of those not hard. But if it hits you, it will basically one-shot you. It's really annoying. So right now we're in Baji's stomach because this Mantis is just fucking him up. So Mantis two phase, first phase not bad, second phase really bad. The trick to this one is you want to use as little abilities and mana as possible until that second phase. So make sure you're, this is one that might take you a couple. Uh, 
See that? Like, look at how much damage that is. Okay, so now he's in his second phase. This is when you want to start using those abilities because this is going to start hurting bad. The moveset doesn't really change, if I remember right. It's just more damage, but I could be wrong. The other annoying part about this boss, which you don't really notice, but normally when you get hit in this game, like you're, you feel it, the vibration in your controller, but you'll notice that for some reason, fighting this guy, they, they just took it out. There you go. So see, that's one of the moves that you're like, what the fuck? So that's why this guy's so hard on your first playthrough. Ooh, and I got lucky on that res. Sorry, Emerald Mantis. I have to check something real fast, but uh, we're gonna make our way to the next kind of boss. We got two more bosses in this area. One, I'm not sure if we can do now, and it's only gonna let me because I'm a new game plus, so I have to check, but uh, we'll, we'll see. So now we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna fight that rock guy that was sitting down. This guy, pretty easy, but he has one attack that will, it's kind of annoying. He's got one attack that is an, like, it's such a massive attack that it's just, it's just gonna basically one shot you. But he's a guy that has a lot of health, just doesn't do a lot of damage except for one attack. See, now he's like, I'm getting up now. Headbutt to the nuts. So this is that attack I was talking about. Walk away. And then he's like, oh man, that took all of my energy. So now you're just gonna lay into him. This is the Son of Stone. So remember, we fought this guy's father before. Oh, really? Perfect. Now let's see if this will let me do this. I'm not sure. All right. So if you've got all the Scotty, yeah, all the Scotty eyes so far, this guy will spawn. Now, this fight is obnoxious. So there's not much you can do, right? It's not one of those guys that you can just kind of run up on. So basically, what you want to do is you want to bait and attack. So wait for this. You have to kind of find the sweet spot. So right here is the sweet spot. The only place you can really do damage to him is on his hands. So sit here and just kind of wait. Wait for his hands to stop. Come on, drop your hands. Yep, looks like it's about to happen. Nice. So now, I, oh, that's not it. Yep, there we go. So now, shadow step forward and now we wanna start attacking these crystals. So as these break, it does more and more damage. Ah! 
See? So now we're like in one go, it's like a third of his health. There we go. So once all those crystals are out, you're good to go. You just have to survive this part. <laughs> As I take all the explosions. If you die to that, I actually don't know what happens, but doesn't really matter. We're going to go over to here. And right there is the last Scotty eye. And basically you convince this guy to give it to you. The Scotty of consciousness. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to an inventory and we're going to use our Ryu scroll. So we're going to talk to our boy here and we're going to give him the Scotty eyes. Now I forget if you can do this in first game. You might have to wait till second playthrough to do this. But we're going to show him the five. He gives you a very rare medicine. And that's one that you can only get in the second playthrough. So I think I'm right. You can only do this in the second playthrough. Could be wrong, but you know. Bye. What else? What do you got? Yeah, you have to buy the thing. So make five Scotty's pill. And it gives it to you. So yeah, as you can see, that's pretty, that's mucho importante. Celestial medicine. What do I need? We're going to go, is our, we're going to get our shock resistance up now. Where's shock? 19. Max that out because the next hard boss is shock. So be prepared. So all that is done. We are going to travel to Mount Haigo and we want the mantis catching swamp. Now we are going to get to end game. So we have two bosses left in the game, which is wild to think about. Right now is when you kind of want to go back and do everything that you can, do your farms and stuff. Unless you're going into new game plus, then that doesn't really matter. But now we're going to do sort of two things. This bot this one's a little tricky how it works because it's one of those things that I feel like is kind of bugged, but you, there's a true ending and then there's also a uh, not true ending. Technically, you only have to do one of them first. Like you have to do, uh, you can't do the true ending until your second playthrough, but you can go through the motions and get the XP that you need. So we'll get there, but we're gonna go this way. And there is Wukong's staff. Now this is just gonna be a long cutscene, so we'll skip it. Okay, so grab the staff. Get your Wukong staff. I believe that's the staff we're already using. We have the Jingu Bang. The web. I feel like our like that's a racial slur every time I say it, but um, yeah. So we have this staff. So we are at end game. Up next is the main boss of the game. If you do it right now, you will not get the alternate ending. If you uh, are in your new game, you can only do that ending anyway but we have been doing the long quest so by doing the long quest right taking out the four long bosses uh we are able to fight and get the alternate ending the guy that we fight in the beginning of the game so um we don't have to rest we're just going to run to the next bonfire the last bonfire and then we will go back to chapter three and basically fight that guy I think it lets you do it now. Otherwise, you have to actually do the end game boss, hit continue, then fight the long boss, and then refight the main boss, which I always think is ass backwards. So that's why I'm like, I don't think that's true. Okay, so real fast. If this is your first playthrough, you are going to have to fight this boss up ahead, the final boss, beat the game. Then you have to go through New Game Plus and you'll be able to do this. Now, technically speaking, I believe you have to go through New Game Plus beat the boss, the final boss, hit continue game, fight the boss that we're about to do, then come back and fight the boss, the final boss again. It's kind of an ass backwards system. But I think because I've already done it, all of the realms are already unlocked for me. So I can actually just go and do it before I fight the final boss. So that's what we're gonna do right now, just so I can show you guys. Um, I have to put my gauntlets back on, but we are going to travel to uh, the third level, the Great Pagonia. There we go. So as you can see, all the realms are open and Baji is right there. Uh, is it Baji or the Buddha kid? I think it's the Buddha kid, yeah. 
So all the realms are done, except for that last one, but that's fine. Uh, I think it's still gonna let me in. Sweet, so now we are in this little snowy area. So for this fight, you are going to want your fan. Your fan is going to be your best friend in this fight. If you do not have the fan, this is going to be the hardest fight in the game. If you have the fan, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we're at the shrine. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do, just to, if you're if this is like you've been struggling in New Game Plus or whatever, I would strongly recommend crafting the uh, um, the medicine that lets you have a revive, a free revive, um, because you can get clapped in this pretty bad. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Ah, here it is, right? Grants a resurrection. So I would use that if you don't have multiple reses. Uh, just because this fight can be bad. Okay, so we're going to fight the guy that you fight in like the tutorial, like literally the first fight of the game. He had the reason he's hard is because he has a shield. Now, that shield is a bitch to get through, but what's cool about the fan is that it just breaks right through it. So, we're going to start this with the fan and then we're going to end this with the fan. Like the second your fan's back up, that's when you're going to want to uh, attack him. So uh, hold on, I'm actually going to pause real fast so I can explain this a little better. So fan right away. This, as soon as you can, fan when you get an opening because we're going to break through his shield. Then you basically just have to go through the motions, get used to his attack pattern. Uh, he's got one feather thing where basically you have to block through it. And then you also can't stun him until his third phase sort of it's kind of this is kind of quartered so you have you'll see what i mean we'll just do it and i'll show you so the first one was a mulligan i won't lie to you because they changed this boss a little bit i can see they tweaked it so same concepts apply but he gets his shield back way faster than i remember stay up on him there's no point in using your stun only use cloud step there's no point in using your transformation either so stay up on him and just keep an eye on your health because you're going to be getting blasted by a lot of things here so once he gets close kind of trap him in a corner if you can he's going to start with an attack yep right there I'm pressing the wrong button, which is really cool. See, what's annoying is the long sweeping attacks this guy has. See, he gets his shield back so fast now. So here comes his second phase, technically speaking. Here we go. Not this one. Here it comes. The axe. Dodge that and then dodge away because he's going to do a giant AOE. I guess I should have jumped technically, but... Now we have to get through his... Uh... I'm very lucky that worked. Okay, here comes second phase. My spirits, monkey. Monkey. When he was dragged to the execution yard, sword and spear were dulled, cleaver and cudgel crumbled, and yet he emerged unscathed. Yet he gave his life to put you in this place. <laughs> Let me see. You okay, so now's when you want to use your. Ugh. Staff.
Come on. So watch out for that again. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh no. Nope, nope. Damn it. Okay, we got our second form. Hopefully, we have a full gourd. Come on. Damn it, we didn't get to use our... Uh... I think now you can, yeah, so this form, you can actually use your immobilize. Because now he's in like a weakened state almost. Oh, I god damn it. Come on, we're so close. Nice. Here we go. So that is the first phase. Like first fight, technically. This is a two-phase fight. So now we are going to fight the Titans. So this is how you get the Azure Dome, the monkey ability that I have. Uh, this is how you do it uh, by doing this quest line. So we're going to fight the Titans from the beginning of the game. That part's easy. The second part's a little harder. Which, but it's, it's separated into two things. So once you beat the Titans, uh, you don't have to worry about, um, like, restarting with this guy. Uh, they will not really fight you all at once. They kind of take turns. So just pick one and just lay into them, and then eventually you'll wreck all of them. So basically, the whole concept is th of this is you want to... Um, kind of learn your abilities that's basically the whole point of this you want to learn this new move set that you unlocked um build your um what's it called build your uh what's it called the fucking stamina bar thing and just lay into them as best as you can so now that we're at the halfway point it's killing time Here we go. Dude, I like how the other kings are just watching. Oh. One dead. What's wrong? Am I too hard for you? Catches it. How sick is that? That's sickening. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> that one gets me every time. He's just like, what the fuck? Just killing the kings. Oh, God. Last but not least, guitar guy. Boom! Take your stupid guitar, get out of here. Technically, it's a uh, live. I think it's pronounced. Oh god! And then there was one. So this fight can be hard because they kind of tease you with that first part because you basically can't die in this. You do have to prioritize your dodging. Like this is like the actual fight. Again, new move, haven't seen before. Nice. Basically, the trick is every time you get even like just two uh, heavy attack, like heavy uh, charges, just use it because you get so much healing back. Come on. No. Oh, God. It's over. Or is it the health bar? What's going on? Boom, now we have Fire Fist. A little more damage. I feel like an HD monkey. Like, what are we doing? If you didn't get that One Piece reference, that's, that's a you problem. Bring it, Erlang Shang. Come on, we're almost done. God, this fight's so long. Done. Sweet. You have finished the long quest and you have unlocked the ability to get the true ending of the game, which again, you can only get on New Game Plus. Now we have the final boss of the game. So as I said, go back and do whatever you haven't, talk to whoever you have to, uh, but now we are doing the last part of the game. The Peak of Innocence. So this boss fight is a three-phase boss fight, but it's separated into two parts. So first you're going to fight... Well, actually, it might be more than that. I don't even remember. But yeah, just get ready. This fight takes a while. Remember, go back, do any seeds, do whatever you got to. Anything you can do in New Game, do it in New Game. I would not do it in New Game Plus. <laughs> don't make the mistake I made. So Monkey 1. 
Yeah, so I guess this is technically like a four phaser. But you only have to do, I think it's technically the first two. So this guy's going to hit hard as shit. So this is, you're going to want to use everything, obviously. Ooh, careful for that. Yeah, right there. So this is when you're going to want to use your cloud step as your um, safety measure. <laughs> wow. Where are you, monkey? Wow, that hit. Watch yourself. Ooh. So it's okay to be in the center of that. It actually won't hit you if you're in the center. It's like being in the eye of the storm. Wow, that hit. So he's going to do a double right there. That's what you have to watch out for. That's why I got hit by the first time. Dude, that bite sucks. Okay. Phase one done. So now he's in second form monkey, which is a little more annoying. And you're actually going to fight two of them. should do that much damage in this game just saying oh yes and i got to keep my res you are fucking kidding me this is not going my way at all So essentially four hits and I'm dead. So now he's doing pluck of many and you're going to fight the second one. Monkey versus monkey. Let me detransform on that one because I thought I was going to do a lot more, but then I actually did. Ah, there it, dude. I freaking hate this boss so much. So once we get through this, though, we don't have to fight them anymore, even if we die, which is good. Okay, cool. Oh, 
Oh no! I dodged sideways when I meant to dodge backwards. Now, fortunately, we have more than enough healing. I also realized that I still have a whole nother res, which I forgot about. Not that I want to use it, but if I have to. Okay, cool. Now, I would say I should die just for my mana back. You probably could use a potion, but uh, if you die past this point, uh, it's not that big of a deal because now you're fighting yourself. We're starting off with this because it seems to do a lot of stagger to him. If I can hit him. Okay, I've lied. I guess it does absolutely jack fuck all. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I'm struggling. Everything was going so smooth till this one. There's no going backwards in here, buddy. Thank God that missed. Come on, I need to beat him without. Come on. Okay, thank you. First phase done. My God. Come on, Chris. You could do this. You guys have no idea how long it took me to get to this point. Damn it.
Oh my gosh. Heal, you idiot. There you go. That's fine. I love spamming the LB button and it doesn't heal. How the fuck? I love how he dodges like all of my moves. Dodges it. Okay, come on, come on. We're just trying to get in as much damage as possible. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Come on. I still have my resurrection too, which is nice. Not what I wanted, but okay. Oh my God, finally. Guys, that took probably... That's such a long fight, but with that, you have beaten Black Myth Wukong. So you should get the ending that allows you to, um, it basically the secret ending, but holy crap, that was a tough one to end it on. Oh, let me, uh, I forgot if there's anything after this, so let me just let it run through. Don't mind me, I'm just going to have my... Ben and Jerry's while I wait for this to finish, this 20-minute cutscene. And with that, guys, you have beaten and ideally platinumed Black Myth Wukong. Now, there's a couple things where you can only get certain things in New Game Plus, but those things, I mean, we pretty much covered. Really, all that's left is the seeds, the armor sets that you have to farm, and the little things. So, guys, this was a long one, and it was long overdue because I had to record this over, like, four months. No, no, like three months. So, um, yeah, hopefully it helped you all out. I'm glad I can finally put this game away until DLC. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it helps. So you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in whatever walkthrough we do next.